Well, that is a word. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. In all the zooms of my entire existence, did I know I could do that? <laughs> nope. <laughs> that would have helped. <laughs> Hi, welcome to T3 Teach Tech Theater. I am Kirsten Giard Branch. And I'm Julie Benitez. And I want to let you know that we are both sitting in the exact same place. It just so happens that our cameras just look a little different, but she's literally like. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are at Monta Vista High School inside uh, Julie's theater. That's cold because it's school's out. Well, yeah. And we live in Southern California, so it's like 40 degrees and we're freezing. Yeah. <laughs> This is like muckluck weather, sweaters, and all of that. <laughs> anyway, hello, friends. We haven't seen you guys in a long time. We look back, and our last video was late August when we were like, hey, we're back. Hey. And then school started. And oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> so we want to talk a little bit about kind of our observations and lessons. Uh, now that we have semester one under our belts. Indeed. Uh, it was not, I think most people went in with the idea of like, oh, okay, we're back at school again and it's going to be better. And it was better in some ways, but it was hard. Oh my God. It was hard. Harder than I thought it was going to be. Yes. I think there are some times when that whole saying of ignorance is bliss is a great thing and, uh, walked into it pretty ignorant and then within the first week, I think, hit mm -hmm. that brick wall of, holy cow, this is not a new normal, this is a new. Mm -hmm. And uh, I found myself where during the shutdown, Julie and I were really good about doing these videos and reaching out to people and a lot of social media and all of that. And I just found I needed to make my world so much smaller for me to be able to survive. So I just hunkered in and just really tried to focus in on what I was doing and trying to keep myself same because i did think it was going to be better and certain parts were better but man oh man it was hard yeah and i thought that um i was you know i was really focusing in on trying to change the 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 landscape of my school and really trying to reach out and do all those things and it all was just harder than i thought and then i got a uh, disturbing news from my admin that i was gonna have to move and so then i was like i don't want to do anything <laughs> take all my balls and <laughs> try to go home. But I get out, I want to go home because we were home for a year and a half. We don't want to do yeah. that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was a challenging year. And I think the thing that kind of kept me going for that was the understanding that because we're reading all this stuff on social media with different Facebook groups that we belong to. And so, and, and it's everybody, everybody feeling it worldwide. People are feeling it. I have a colleague of mine who is German and has teachers in Germany that, and they've been, um, corresponding back and forth, just going, is it the same thing in the States? It's like, uh, yeah, it really is the same thing in the States because they're feeling it over there. And um, it's great to see the kids. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And they need that community. And I found out I need that community. I thought it was an introvert, but I, I'm, I'm more of an extrovert than I thought I was just because the screen stuff doesn't do it for me so much. But the kids that came back, even the ones that I'd had, came back different kids. And so that was where, for me, that huge pivot was of, well, I've got a lot of the same type of kids or the same kids, so it should be okay, but it wasn't. I wasn't, I'm not the same person I was in March, 2020. They're not the same people they were. And so there was a lot of more shifting sands that I had thought. I thought we'd just kind of have a foundation and yeah, we'd all be wearing masks and it might be a little weird, but we're going to, it'll just be the same. And that was not the case. And something that I... Okay. So yes, we were all wearing masks. Um, I didn't real, I mean, I knew, but I hadn't fully understood how much of the community that I build in my classroom is because they're able to sit near each other. And, and there's something that I do in my class that, um, I don't care if they eat in the room as long as it's up on stage, not in the seats. And that was a huge community builder in my room that I didn't fully realize that just, uh, that it wasn't a, a planned time, but like people just got to know each other and someone brought cookies and everyone shares cookies, but 
Instead, I had to be very rigid and like, no, this is your seat. And, and I have to keep track of who are you sitting next to? And no, you can't move. And it really clamped down on the, the building of community in the, in the classroom. And it just felt very weird and not the same. Yeah. I was having a conversation with uh, one of the counseling colleagues about how the kids were really struggling. And I said, well, if you think about it, they are going to five, six, seven different classes where they're interacting, but they never, an adult never smiles at them mm -mm. the entire day. I mean, I could smile. I've been practicing my <laughs> smiles, but it's different. And I didn't realize how much of my humor yes. or my pretend humor um, is based on facial expression because mm -hmm. I would say something and then in my mask, I'd be like, Burr -burr -burr. but then everybody's they like, see that. <laughs> they didn't see it. My mask thought it was hilarious, but no one else did. So that also had to be a huge shift of that communication of, oh, shoot, this is the only thing I can use to communicate with the kids. And not even being able to, to interact with the kids in the same way because I couldn't 100% recognize who was who because you know, they have a hoodie on and their mask on. And I'm like, Ooh. I mean, you know, there's always the, oh, is that so-and-so or so-and-so? Because they look similar, but it was worse. And I, I I, didn't feel as though I knew the kids very well. And I didn't feel, I mean, it took me probably till the end of the semester before I actually reliably knew everybody's name and who they were and what part of their personality was. And usually that's something I've got down in the first three or four weeks. It was easiest if a kid wore the same mask every day. Yes. Then yes. They would be like, oh, yes. <laughs> I know you, shark mask face. Yep. Yeah. Or if they didn't have a hat on and they're like, blue hair girl, got you. Yeah. Or isn't it weird? I don't know if you had this, but I, there would be times the kid would come in and maybe they'd have their mask down around their chin or I'd see them outside with their mask off. And I would be like, that is not oh. how I pictured the bottom half of your face. Nope. And I'm like, <laughs> you have facial hair or you wear braces or <laughs> like, just oh. at the very end of the of, of the the school year, there was a kid and he had his mask down and he had a he had a beard and he was talking about how um, everyone thought he was like fourteen and he looked like he was fourteen until he took his mask down. I'm like, oh no no no, you're like twenty, like oh my goodness. But I never, I had no idea he had a, had a face like that. Nothing crazy, crazy time. So that was kind of the one of the weird things is that it just. It, I think it took a little bit longer. It's feeling a little bit more, maybe now that we've got semester one into our back pocket, it's feeling a little more normal. Although right now, this it's is what the lockdown. 27th yeah. of December that we're filming this. And, you know, we're looking at this Omicron Omicron stuff coming down and what's happening and Broadway shows are closing and, you know, everything's feeling it feels familiar. <laughs> so we're a little bit nervous about that. But I think there's more of a sense now where we're kind of getting the whole idea. I think the hardest thing is that everything for me took longer. It took longer for me to connect with the kids. It took longer for me to pull the kids out of their shells. Mm -hmm. And so many times, because, you know, you're 31, right? And you're year 26. Six. Like 26. Um, there's so much now that we have in our back pocket. So if something's not going right, we just... Okay, here's an old tried and true. And so many of my tried and trues didn't work. Number one, because the kids were still nervous about being near each other mm -hmm. um, or were nervous about interacting. or it, And so it was like, well, I'll just whip out this old chestnut that never fails until right now when Led it failed. Balloon. And then it would be like, well, let's try this old thing. And just pretty soon you're just shooting jello at the wall hoping something's going to stick. And that was really, I think, the amount of pivoting that I have done this semester, curricularly, socially with the kids, kind of culturally, I've done more pivoting than I think I've done in, I don't know, a decade or plus. Because it just was the matter of just trying to figure out where we all were in this craziness. Yeah, I, I, I talked with a, um, a colleague, well, not a colleague, colleague, someone who I knew who grew up and who she's in her second year of teaching right now. So her very first year of teaching was 2020, where it was completely online wow. and, and she's just now starting. And I, and I was trying to talk it through with her about whether it was actually better that she knew nothing else and is going into it this way versus I'm feeling constantly like a failure of like, but this always works. Oh, this, oh, this isn't how it always was. It's, I, I feel a lot like the, you know, the kid who's in the middle of a divorce of like, but that's not how things used to be. And they're like, yeah, it's not. You're right. And now you have to move to Missouri. So right. yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, 
I think that for me, one of the weirdest things too, I mean, I tried to stay physically active being home and walking around the block and doing other things more for my sanity than anything. But it, it, I, I, coming back, I realized that because I would be one of those people that would be here, you know, early morning till late at night, getting stuff done and doing stuff. And there was always stuff, but by the end of my seventh period class at two 30, I was like, I gotta go home and take a nap. And it was just the stamina thing took a long time. And I found that in the kids, we realized mm -hmm. that. And we, I think we shared that in a video. Um, this summer when we were working with uh, the community school kids that their stamina for in-person teaching was was really lacking. And and we were all kind of feeling that way. I still feel that way to a, a bit of a degree in that it, it's harder for me to kind of keep that momentum up. I think, I mean, this is, this is not just with theater teachers, but I think worldwide of the pandemic gave us an opportunity. It, shut down the things that we normally did. And you're like, do I want to actually go back to all of that? Right. The way that I used to, to run on fumes all the time and the way that I was here all the time and not seeing my family or the way, of course, well, that's how I get the job done. But coming back to it, I, you know, we both did a, a fall show in person and we'll talk about that. But, uh, trying to remember my own steps of like, Oh, I've got to do that. And I just didn't have, the stamina and I didn't, everything just wasn't clicking as fast as it usually did. And it's just, it, part of it was not having, um, being out of, of practice, but the second part was like, do I want to go back to that crazy that I was doing? And I don't think the answer is yes. Yeah. I had to find a new way, just like we had to find a new way with the students because the way that I've always done stuff with the students isn't working the way it used to work. And, and it's pushing me to change and I think it's going to eventually be for the better, but it's a lot of pivoting and it's really tiring to pivot this much. We acknowledge the fact that it is hard out there. It's been hard. This is a different kind of hard, mm -hmm. but still hard. As we continue on and we go into our second semester, our pledge to you is to try to be, try to be more diligent in maintaining connection and trying to get these videos out. We're going to be videotaping a slew today. <laughs> this today. Yeah. But as always, please reach out to us if you have any questions or concerns at teachtechtheater at gmail.com. Check out our website, www.teachtechtheater.net. And uh, we certainly look forward to hearing from you. Remember, it's all different, but you've got this. For what it's worth, we are here for you. And uh, take care. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.